from where I get the source? It, it's a good question. Uh, in fact, uh, most of it is built in, to be honest. I mean, uh, these kind of things, either you have it within your personality, within your character, or you don't have it. Um, coaching, uh, training, learning, it can help a lot. But if you don't have it built in your blood, I think it will be difficult. And it will look a bit artificial. My name is Ahmed Khaled, and I am the host of this Unleashed podcast. We speak mainly around personal development and entrepreneurship. Our mission is unleashing the human greatness to its utmost potential. And this is by interviewing CEOs, entrepreneurs, and coaches physically in Dubai to extract their wisdom and change your life. Now, you can enjoy the episode. Dr. Ibrahim, are you ready to unleash? Ready to unleash. What's the percentage? Of course, fully confident, uh, gonna be 100% unleashed. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll try to do our level best, of course. Inshallah. Thank Absolutely. you so much for coming here today. It's and before we start our uh, topic today, I want to ask you, what is that source of humility and the humble leadership that you have? What is that source? From where do you get this source? From where I get the source? It, it's a good question. Uh, in fact, uh, most of it is built in, to be honest. I mean, uh, these kind of things, either you have it within your personality, within your character, or you don't have it. Um, coaching, uh, training, learning, it can help a lot. But if you don't have it built in, your blood, I think it will be difficult. <laughs> and it will look a bit artificial. That, that, in my yeah, opinion. I feel it. Yes, I know. <laughs> no, so, I know. That's you spot it on the two. Yeah. And I keep hearing about culture, culture, culture of the organization. With your great experience inside the organization, how do you define a culture inside an organization? Culture inside uh, any organization is one of the very important issue because... I mean, each company has its own culture, and culture is the shared value. Culture is uh, the management style. Uh, culture is the uh, transparency among uh, the management of the company, among the employees, uh, the people, uh, the working style, the working environment. Uh, the company culture basically has to be very open, very transparent to everybody. And uh, culture has to be set in a way that the value uh, of the company, the vision and mission has to be very clear to everybody. Mm -hmm. This is the culture in my, my opinion. Uh, culture also is something that the company has to work very hard in setting the right culture to suit the right nature of business that they, they are doing. Uh, I won't say that you need different cultures in different places, but you need to adapt the company culture ac according to the nature of the business the company is doing, according to what kind of people you are doing. I mean, uh, yes, definitely the culture of the, of, of the region, the culture of the, the people, uh, it will have some kind of influence on setting up a culture of a business, of a company. You don't want to come, come up with a culture that the people look at it as something uh, weird or uh, odd. So uh, that's basically um, the, 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 the definition of a culture. We all aim for a healthy culture and good culture. But sometimes I believe we we end up by somehow toxic culture. What, what, how do you define that a toxic culture? And how can we have some self-awareness about this toxic culture? Uh, toxic culture is something that we hear about it quite often nowadays. And uh, the, the reason for this kind of toxicity in, in a company culture basically will come to the point or to the reason that you don't have an experience management. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all to do with the management, uh, the uh, understanding, the perception of the management, the relation between the management and, and the employees. Uh, if you don't have the transparency, if you don't have a clear uh, uh, 
way of dealing with your management, definitely things will, will, will become very toxic. So uh, you, you need to open up. Uh, you need to make sure that whenever you have any issues with with the company, with the management, you need to open up and talk to your li line manager, talk to your colleagues and uh, find out why this is happening. Uh, uh, toxic uh, culture uh, has many ways. I mean, uh, if, if the management are, are narrow-minded, um, looking at the people because of their uh, different colors or, or, or religion or any kind of, um, uh, uh, of, of these differences that the, the, the people or the person himself doesn't have much to, to do with it, mm. definitely it will create a toxic uh, culture among, uh, uh, um, among the company. Yeah. Uh, so uh, t toxic culture in a company is the most dangerous thing that a company can have because immediately it will lead to demotivating demotiva the people. I mean, you will have no productivity, sorry. Uh, no worries. Yeah. <laughs> no, no worries. <laughs> so, uh, yes, uh, mm -hmm. y you need the people to be productive. Mm -hmm. um, people, as we always say, people uh, is the company. Mm -hmm. People uh, make companies, not the other way around. Mm -hmm. So the environment has to be very healthy. Mm. Uh, shouldn't be any any kind of uh, toxic environment mm. at all. Manager have to understand that uh, everybody uh, has a role. Mm. Uh, uh, that the guideline of the company has to be very clear. The value of the company has to be very clear to the employees. The employees have to be also understanding uh, their role in, in 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 the company. If this is clear, I think. Uh, toxicity in in culture or in management uh, of the company uh, will not be there. Mm -hmm. So we we should pay attention to to these kind of uh, issues. That I mean, it, it can take many many forms. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. to, to toxic culture in a company. Yeah. As as a leader and as a managing director for a big company, yeah. how do you spot those toxicity inside inside the organization? How will you deal with it? Uh, if we spot something like this, immediately we have to address it. Mm -hmm. And we have to find out uh, the reason behind it. And uh, as I said, I mean, uh, toxicity is a two ways kind of thing. I mean, uh, you need to find out what is the reason mm -hmm. behind it. Is it the management? Is it the employees? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And from there, I mean, as, as we always say, I mean, what cannot be measured cannot be controlled. So we need to find out why this is happening. Uh, wh wh why something like this? I mean, wh wh why the management looking at the people like, I mean, they are uh, uh, second class or uh, degraded uh, people. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that, that has never been the objective of any relation between uh, the management and, uh, and employees, mm -hmm. uh, no matter how senior or ju junior the, the mm -hmm. employee is. So uh, transparency uh, has to be there. Uh, reasons for toxicity has to be uh, analyzed. Uh, we have to find out the reason. Once we put our fingers on the reason, then mitigation will be much easier to uh, to actually uh, um, solve out this kind of uh, neg negative uh, issues. A negative attitude. Uh, make sure that people do not work under stress. Mm -hmm. Because as I said, mm -hmm. I mean, you put the people under stress, there's no production. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So a negative attitude uh, uh, shouldn't be there. Mm -hmm. uh, motivation of the people is very important. Mm -hmm. You need to recognize the, the hard and good work of, of the people. So this will not create any kind of uh, toxicity in, uh, in the company culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Victor, I just, uh, I was also intrigued by one of the situations. If there is a threat, okay? And mm -hmm. uh, tell you just sometimes we have in the top management, there are some, uh, some sort of toxicity and uh, maybe th there is no st some sort also of self-awareness but if we are in a situation that there are some uh, situations that it's coming to us and uh, it's opposing all kinds of ethics as a human being is even and even it's opposing uh, the, the values of the company sure uh, in our situation such a situation based on our circle circle of authority if there is an order is coming from the top management that we see that there is 
some sort of toxicity or some sort of opposing our ethics. How can do we manage such situation in the right way while also not coming on our ethics or our values? I know I'm telling you this because sometimes in our mind you think, okay, if I don't do this, I will be under the microscope and that somehow I could be my manager, or my bosses, they will put me on the, on the, on the spot and I would be threatened under my job and could be uh, one of the reasons of being laid off. How can I manage such situation? Once you sense how this kind of situation in any company, immediately you have to address it. Mm -hmm. You have to be open and transparent. As I said, you need to start with your line manager. Mm -hmm. uh, if uh, no action or you feel that he's not taking the right uh, action or taking it lightly or with, with a negative attitude or using this against you or taking you for uh, some kind of uh, uh, granted that I mean uh, uh, whether you do what uh, or you accept uh, the situation as is or being an employee then you're going to lose your job. Mm. If you have this kind of perception uh, de definitely this is the real toxicity in any kind of management so uh, y once you, you 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 sense that there is something like that l let's say i mean sexual harassment in 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 a, in a company mm. this is some something that i mean uh, a toxicity um, um, among the management or among the, the the company culture it has to be addressed immediately mm -hmm. uh, no matter what uh, kind of uh, consequences that the person uh, might because there's no compromise on ethics mm -hmm. that, that that that's 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 what we should have in mind all the time if you think you are right if you think you are having the the, the right approach mm -hmm. you're doing what you're supposed to do and uh, somebody else no matter how senior mm -hmm. uh, he is trying to uh, uh, take advantage on you mm -hmm. or corner you because you need the job you need the money immediately you need to address it and uh, just uh, go ahead mm -hmm. if it doesn't get sorted out with the first um, uh, level uh, management uh, you need to escalate it to the second second level up and never give up because these are principles uh, ethics you cannot compromise on ethics even if you lose your job either you do it right uh, you do it with the uh, more comfort mm. okay uh, otherwise, it will create many kind of uh, internal stress that the person himself, at the end of the day, he will not be able to to uh, to work. He will not uh, produce anything. So, uh, the objective of of uh, being uh, employed in in that organization is defeated. Mm -hmm. So, uh, as I always say, you need to address it. You need to be open. Speak up. Uh, don't have any kind of uh, fear. First of all, you need to release the internal stress. You need to be uh, confident of yourself that uh, <laughs> you are not doing anything that you should be ashamed of. Mm -hmm. uh, as long as uh, the, the principles are right, uh, the guideline uh, is very clear to you. Uh, you are there to uh, do a job. You are there to uh, achieve uh, uh, a success at, uh, at the end of the day. So what, what, what's the problem? Talk to your manager. But, but sometimes, Me? Dr. Fear, fear plays an important role here. As I said, yeah, sometimes you, you come on that and spot it on that I'm afraid if I oppose such a situation, I will lose my job. Yeah. And it's, it will not be on spot. Yeah. But I know some, some bosses or some managers, they, they could be bullying after. Yeah. Okay, you are not, uh, again, okay, you are doing great job. Thank you for highlighting this. But I will spot it on after next. I will start looking, spotting any small defects in your job and I will let it fly. I will let it highlight. How can, can we do such things? And I know that some, some people, they, can, they cannot compromise on ethics. Yeah. But it's hard to say that, okay, I, I, will, I will not do this, okay? And at the same time also, I will, cannot compromise on my ethics because I'm afraid to lose my job. How can we do this? I know th because uh, this is an internal dialogue that most people, they can think about. You see, immediately you have to think that this kind of behavior, it indicates that the management is poor mm -hmm. and they don't have enough experience. Mm -hmm. So you as an employee, you need to uh, ease your conscious off that if you continue under the same stress, under the same harassment, under the same uh, criticism, uh, segregation uh, pressure 
uh, which has no uh, reason for it at all, uh, you're going to burn yourself. You're going to kill yourself at the end of the day. Mm. So losing the job or uh, burning your your uh, ethics and uh, burning uh, your moral, uh, that at the end of the day, you, you will achieve nothing. You will lose yourself. You will lose your self-esteem at the end of the day. And that's what we should actually tell everybody, as long as you feel you are doing right, even if you lose your job, look for another one. If you don't feel comfortable in any place, okay, uh, provided that you have done what you're supposed to do, uh, I'm sure, uh, keep looking for the right place, for the right culture, for the people who can uh, appreciate uh, your effort, uh, not to take advantage, uh, advantage on, on you because of any other issues, as we said, uh, bullying or criticism or segregation or, yeah, no. I mean, no compromise on ethics, even if you lose the job, in my opinion. Yeah. Losing the job, you can find a job. Losing yourself, losing your self-esteem is very difficult to recover. Believe me. Unleash is the bridge between my purpose and my mission. And my mission is... Unleashing the human greatness to its utmost potential.